Hey there, I'm CJ Maurer with The Gist. Welcome back to another one of our strategic HubSpot tutorials. Today we're gonna to talk about CPQ, configure price quote, how you can use HubSpot to streamline how you send proposals, get accepted, and even automate some of the onboarding steps once a proposal has been accepted. Let's dive in. What you see here is products. Now, before you actually start using HubSpot for quotes, there's a couple of things that you need to do. First, you need to import or upload or manually create all of the different product line items. These are the, the units of things that you sell. They could be physical products, they could be service, right? They could be one-time charges, they could be recurring charges. You wanna get those in there. I'll come back to that in a second. Then what you need to do is build quote templates. And there are some default quote templates inside HubSpot. You can also build your own, uh, either using the quote template builder, no code, or you can actually hire a developer and fully design and customize your own quote template. Once you do that, you'll be able to see all of your quotes and then what you need to be able to do is learn how to add a quote to a deal, send it, track it, and then perform any of the other workflows you want to automate things based on the status of a quote or whether or not a quote has been signed. So let's go back to these products. Okay, so once again, we're in a demo portal that is modeled after a payroll and HR company. So you're gonna see a whole bunch of products and services that are relative to a payroll and HR company. If I wanted to manually create a product, I would do that here. At the minimum, you need the name, the price, and the billing frequency, right? So I'm gonna put it, this in as test product. You can add other things like SKU or description, and actually you can create a lot of custom properties. So if you wanted to organize them all into product categories or price books, there's, there's so many things that you can do. I'm gonna say this is a service. Uh, let's actually call this a HubSpot consulting service. And let's say that this is a monthly service with a unit price of 500 per month. Another cool thing is you can actually build in your costs so you can start tracking margin. So let's say it costs us $200 in order to perform the service. So it's calculating your margin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click create product. I'm not gonna do it in that situation, in this situation, but you get the idea. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is organize your, your products into views. These are almost like views or folders, right? One for whoever is in charge of keeping track and maintaining all of your products, it's nice to organize them. So that way, if you wanna add one or update some details or you increase your prices, you can go in there and do that accordingly. There are also benefits to organizing your products into views once you actually build the quote, which we'll show you in a second. So here we have all of our products organized into views. And by the way, you can import your products, especially if you're, you've never used a CPQ system before. A lot of businesses have never actually like listed out. They don't have a formal price book. So I would recommend building it in a spreadsheet like Excel or Google Sheets and then importing it if that's easier for you. But let's say we have all of our products in here. Now that's great. So that means we know once we're building a quote, we can drag in line items, adjust quantities, apply discounts, but you actually need a, a quote or proposal template for that to live. Whenever you sign up with HubSpot, you're gonna have three automatic templates, basic, modern, and original. And you can preview them right here. So you can see this is a very simple one pager. And what you can tell is that, okay, it's gonna pull in company information based on the company that's associated with the quote and the first and or second recipients based on the contact or contacts that are associated with the quote. And it'll pull in information about you, the sender, and this pulls from data that is on your HubSpot account about your company. Assuming everything is set up right, like you have a deal record and the company's associated, the contacts associated, if you just add a quote, the only thing you really have to do to send it out the door is move the product line light items in, you know, select if you want to have an e-signature or payment and then send it off. So that's pretty simple. But what you can also do is customize your quote template. Let's say we want a more fancy proposal. I'm gonna go ahead and click proposal 
And now you can see like, we can go ahead and edit the summary here. We can stylize this with different colors and really have a nice more formal proposal, which once again, you're gonna have those product line items at the bottom and you'll be able to add that just like if it was a simple one page quote. Let's say you have your quote templates, right? Again, then you're gonna be able to view all your quotes and this is great for reporting purposes. Your sales leaders are gonna to wanna to go back and see all of the quotes that have been sent, what their status is. Sometimes you have a client that has a question, maybe they've already signed on, but there's weeks or months later, they have a question they wanna reference it again. Hey, can you send me that again? You can easily go here, search your quote. Oh, what do we do for panic room? Boom, here's their quotes. And we can see the status of all of them. All right, so let's say right now you've, you've uploaded all your products, you have your quote template, now it's time to actually send a quote. This obviously isn't part of the configuration. This is what's gonna happen once uh, you've built everything and you're training your teams how to use it. So if you've got a deal, this is a company called The Loop. I'm gonna go into the deal in the quote section on the right sidebar, I'm gonna click add. Once again, you can see it automatically pulls in the, con the contact and the company information. I'm gonna hit next. It automatically pulls in my information on the demo portal, CJ Maurer from Inbound Payroll. And then we're gonna go right to our product library. Um, this is where we need to bring in our individual line items. Now you can still create custom line items for this quote. When you do that, you'll have a, its own line item on the quote, but it will not save to your product library. Sometimes that happens. You're doing a unique service, so you're just going to create a custom line item. But most of the time, especially the, the companies that use HubSpot most effectively, they're gonna have all of their products in the product library. So now you're just gonna go into your views and you know we're gonna say this is a 100 employee company. So we need the uh, base fee and they're a biweekly payroll. So I'm gonna add those right now. So here we have our base fee and then we have our, we're gonna adjust this to 100. And you know what, actually there's, there's more. They need ACA reporting, so we're gonna do that. The base fee, the per employee fee, and this is 100. And then these are one-time uh, costs, right? So you can see how it all breaks out. Like implementation is a one-time payment. The ongoing services will be billed monthly. Right, so you can see those nice breakdowns where it's 27 up front, then $75 a month moving forward. You can discount, right? So you can say, hey, listen, we're offering a, a $50 discount on implementation fees. You could do that. Or you could say, hey, listen, we're doing a 10% discount on the uh, ongoing monthly fee. So you can discount individual line items or you can apply a discount over the entire quote. One time discount on the entire quote. Let's say this is our uh, summer special. And then you, there's, you, you can add your discount right here, 10%. Very, very cool. Okay, so now we've got to a point where we've got our products, we've got our quote template, and we know how to build and send quotes. Once again, we've got, we can do our e-signature if we wanna collect payments, so on and so forth. But that, that's good, right? So up to this point, now you've already streamlined how you can very quickly generate and send quotes. But there's a lot more to CPQ than just building and sending quotes. This is where you wanna use HubSpot to make all of the actions around quoting and onboarding much more streamlined and consistent. So we have here our two common workflows that everybody should have. And you could, once I go through these, I think you'll have more ideas. The first is the follow-up on pending approval. So the way we've built this workflow is, let's say that the quote, there's a deal inside your pipeline in the proposal sent stage and the quote is pending approval. So in that instance, it's gonna enroll the deal and then it's gonna wait four days and then it's gonna check to see if basically the deal is still in the same stage and the quote is still pending. So in other words, you're building a trigger that will perform actions once you've been waiting at least four days on a quote. At that point, this is really where it's up to you. Maybe you wanna create a task to remind your rep to follow up on the proposal. Or maybe you just wanna go ahead and send an email directly to the prospect 
saying, hey, it's been a couple of days, just wanted to check up. Is there anything you wanna talk about? You wanna book a time on my calendar? So now what you're doing is you're preventing your sales team from forgetting to follow up with prospects, especially prospects that you have sent quotes to. So this is a really, really effective way to basically build in operational follow-up on quotes and proposals. The next one that you're gonna want to have is when the quote is actually approved. So if you use e-signature, HubSpot's always gonna know when your quotes are approved. So build a workflow that triggers whenever a quote is approved. So first thing you wanna do is update the deal stage, right? It's currently in proposal sent, but when the quote gets approved, move it over to your forecasted stage or your closed one stage or whatever works for your business. Then send an internal notification to your team to say, woohoo, good job guys, we just got a quote back. Here's all of the details about the business, right? Uh, here's the company, here's what they hired us to do, here's the amount, right? Here's the source, all of that information. And then take it a step further and even email a confirmation directly to the, the customer themselves, right? I'm gonna go send an email, I'm gonna say uh, whatever. I'll pick my email that that basically confirms that, hey, confirming that you have accepted your quote, here's all the information, and then use that as an opportunity to begin the onboarding process. Maybe you need to send them to a link to complete an onboarding form, or maybe they just need to book the kickoff call on your calendar. All of that can be automated. So now what you've done is you've removed a lot of the guesswork and manual error around sending quotes, following up on quotes, and taking steps once quotes are accepted. That is effective CPQ, configure price and quote. And there's an incredible way to do that in HubSpot, as you can see across a variety of tools, products, quotes, deals, workflows, emails, right? Using all of these tools together in order to build a really seamless process that anybody can use. This is how you build in growth and scalability into your company's operating system. So we're big, big fans of CPQ. So that's it. That's the video. If you like this, please like and subscribe. It'll make sure that you can see more of these videos and quite frankly, it helps us reach more people who have needs just like you to get the most value out of HubSpot. Also, if you wanna get a strategic HubSpot process breakdown in your inbox, subscribe to the Spotlight. The link is in the description. You will get a, an, a simple email that breaks down a process that focuses either on marketing, sales, or service, how to scale growth across teams and functions in your inbox every Monday morning. We're getting a lot of positive feedback from it. Uh, our list is growing, so click the link in the description, subscribe to the Spotlight, and we'll see you next Monday. Once again, I'm CJ with The Gist. Thanks so much. See you soon.